Hi, my name is Beth Pester, and I am the Director of Middle Level Education and Student Teaching here at Concordia University in Seward, Nebraska, and I am inside the Tome Leadership and Education Center on our campus right now. I want to give you a little tour of this building um, because this is one of our sort of flagship buildings, I think, on campus. It houses many different classrooms. It houses the entire College of Education um, and Human Sciences, the health part of the College of Education, Health and Human Sciences is over in our Waltz building. Um, the education program here at Concordia uh, has, it's a, it's a large program and if you know something about Concordia's history, you know that the education programs have been around for a long time. In fact, the name of this institution used to be Concordia Teachers College. We train teachers from um, early childhood up through secondary, so if you want to teach tiny little kids all the way through big kids, um, everybody, everybody can come here to Concordia to be trained to teach in schools, whether they're public schools, Lutheran schools, other private and parochial Christian schools, um, everybody. Everybody can come here and get a fantastic education. Here in this building, I'm going to give you just a little bit of a look. This is the entryway to uh, Tome. It has a north and a south entrance. You'll notice actually along the wall that's um, in front of me right now, a really cool art installation. We have some great art installations in this building actually. It's one of my favorite things about this space. Um, they're done by either Concordia University University professors, sometimes alumni, sometimes students. Um, sometimes it's uh, students actually who've been part of our education, our art education program. Um, and I love that we're able to display some really cool art in this space as well. I'm going to walk this direction right now and just give you a little peek into our auditorium. This auditorium is multi-purpose. Um, often classes meet in here, but um, regularly on Tuesday nights we actually have um, speakers who come to campus to give us a glimpse into all different areas of uh, this world, right, that God has created and given us the opportunity to be in. This building is shaped like a capital L. Right now we're standing at the short end of the L. Straight ahead of me would be the bottom part of the L, and then we're going to turn, and that will be the top half of the L. It's three stories tall. It has classrooms on all three levels, computer labs on the basement floor, uh, many classrooms, as well as this super cool space that's in front of me right now um, on the second floor. Um, this space that's in front of me right now is uh, really a, a hang out space. Um, when campus is busy and bustling with students, we see lots of students hanging out here, doing work together, collaborating on, um, on classwork, um, group projects, but also sometimes just grabbing a coffee from the coffee shop that's at the building next door and coming over here uh, to hang out and to visit. Down the hallway that is now in front of me where I'm facing is the top part of the L of this building. I'm going to walk down there in just a minute, but before I get down there, I actually want to walk over here. You'll see another cool art installation piece, but you'll also see a bright sunny window ahead of us. I like to show everybody this view because we have really nice facilities on this campus and one of the things, if you can see past the bright sunshine here, is our football field and soccer field, our stadium and a view of the Waltz um, Athletic Center and Fieldhouse uh, all outside this view. It's actually a pretty popular space on uh, football and soccer game days when it's really cold outside because it's such a great view. Uh, we'll go now down the hallway, I want to show you a couple of our um, innovative learning spaces. One of, uh, one of the things that we've added, actually just in the last several years, um, are flexible seating classrooms, innovative learning spaces. Uh, when we get to these classrooms, I'm going to show you two of them. You'll kind of understand why we call it flexible seating, because all the seating in these classrooms is movable. Um, it can be rearranged. It can be all the, all the chairs and seats move easily. You can see some of them are on rollers and lots of different styles of seats for students to choose. Also, for students to uh, regroup and collaborate um, in the classroom. This classroom also has um, whiteboards on both sides. The wall, actually, that is just to my left right now is an entire whiteboard from top to bottom. Um, you'll also notice that there are four different um, projection televisions in this classroom. Um, anyone who is 
um, participating in class or teaching in class in this classroom actually can, um, can project to any of these four screens in order for collaborative work to be done. The screens do not have to have um, the, same, the same picture on them. They actually are connected to individually. And so if you're doing some kind of collaborative work, your group actually can use your own individual screen in order to put um, presentation slides together um, or you know, work on building a website, something like that. If we walk out of this classroom, um, you'll see another collaborative space just across the hallway. Uh, and we're going to walk over here real quick so that you can see that. <clears throat> you'll also notice in the classroom we just left, in the classroom we're in now, there are also high top tables to allow for um, different levels of seating. Um, and that's kind of a, it's kind of a cool way to learn, actually, to be able to choose your seats, to be able to move around, to work with your classmates, um, and, you know, do some really awesome collaborative work when you have that opportunity, but also get some great instruction because of the learning spaces that are provided in these, in these classrooms themselves. I spoke just a little bit about the education programs. We do train teachers to, um, to be early childhood teachers. Uh, an early childhood program, uh, but also an early child, uh, childhood endorsement that can be put together with um, elementary ed. Our elementary ed program um, is the next level, then middle level, secondary. We also offer ESL or ELL to teach uh, students who have English as a second language, as well as special education. Um, the early childhood program trains people to teach students from birth all the way through third grade. Um, elementary ed is kindergarten through sixth grade. It includes seventh and eighth grade, depending on the arrangement of the, um, the classroom and the school that you're working in. Also, we have um, a middle level education program, which uh, trains students to teach grades five through nine, and you choose a specific um, a specific content area that you want to specialize in, math, science, social studies, or language arts. And then secondary ed actually trains you to teach from uh, seventh grade through twelfth grade, also choosing a subject area. Lots of different subject areas or possibilities in our secondary ed program, um, including some special endorsements if you'd like to get involved in coaching, if you'd like to do extracurriculars with journalism, the yearbook, and newspaper in schools. We have supplemental endorsements that also, um, that also uh, are able to be earned here at Concordia. This building also houses our psychology department and our sociology department. Our innovative um, education spaces and innovative education directors actually have offices in this space and work with students all across every program in our on our campus. So even if you uh, don't have an interest in studying psychology, sociology, or um, education, uh, you can connect with our, our innovative education directors here if you need some help putting together some kind of presentation for a class or doing something. Even if you are um, a science major or an English major, they're here to help us as well. We're back where we started, right here at the entrance of the auditorium and the entrance of the Tome Leadership and Education Center. Uh, really excited about uh, you being interested enough to click on this video. We hope that sometime in the future you, uh, you take the chance to come visit us in person as well. we got a beautiful campus and we really love to show it off. We'd love to have you here so that we can um, get to know you better and see if this is a great fit for you. Thanks.